This is massive. Uh, St. Columba becomes one of the patron saints, the national saint of Scotland in the Middle Ages. He's uh, the kind of saint that kings want to patronize. We get the finds uh, from Charles Thomas. Uh, they're processed uh, by Historic Environment Scotland. Uh, and then we were allowed to work on the finds and the notes. It was very lucky that he kept things like charcoal, burnt wood, which uh, back in 1956 and 57, there wasn't much you could do with. Radiocarbon dating was still a very new technology and wasn't, it wasn't widely available. We were able to find some of that burnt wood in these boxes uh, and it was still sort of miraculously in a good enough state. There was one wooden building in particular, which they found in 1957. Uh, it was a very small, uh, sort of squarish uh, timber hut with wattle and daub walls. The excavators strongly believed that what they had was the actual cell of St. Columba himself. But they were never able to prove that because they didn't have the technology that we have now. 60 years later, we were able to take those samples that they kept behind, send them to the radiocarbon dating lab, and they've come back to us uh, within the margin of error as something which may have been built uh, within the lifetime of St. Columba himself. St. Columba is a seminal figure in the history of Western Christendom. Uh, Iona is one of these places that becomes almost a university of early Christian thought and theology. Uh, this is where canon laws are being written down. This is where history is being recorded. So this is a really sort of significant place in the story. And to have found it uh, archaeologically uh, is extremely significant.